are designed for print, are used to finding creative ways to economize for budgetary reasons. You know, sometimes a clever tweak to a design can help the project to maximize the space on a single sheet of paper, use less ink, or reduce the cost of postage. But did you know there are environmental reasons to think this way too? I mean, creatives have customers who want to show they are being environmentally friendly. So they want maybe vegetable-based inks, along with the logos of one or two of the chain of custody organizations, such as the Sustainability Forest Initiative or the Forest Stewardship Council. That's great. But does anybody think about the printer they use and their environmental impact? Well, in this episode, I want to talk about sustainability in print from the creation to the job out the door. Strategically creating print pieces to reduce environmental impact starts in the concept phase. But designers do have the power to reduce and reuse throughout the process, especially when specifying job requirements to their print partners. I have four steps that you can take on your next print project to assure total sustainability in your client's project. Hi, I'm Jim Kohler, a paper professor for Slavamo Papers to discuss sustainability in print. The first thing you can do when planning your project is to opt for digital printing, if possible. When it comes to sustainability, the type of press your printer uses really matters. Now, while all print processes are fantastic, digital printing can be more sustainable than traditional offset for a number of reasons. First, it eliminates the offset plates and all the chemicals associated with the offset process. Plus, you can do a lot of your press proofing digitally and on the same digital equipment, which totally replicates the job you are printing. The other big shift with digital printing is that you can print only the number of pieces you need. In the offset world, small press runs simply don't make sense because so much setup has to be done to do a run at all. For this reason, those printing offset will often print more than they need to bring the cost per piece down, even if it means part of the run will sit in storage or eventually go to waste. With digital printing, however, it's possible to print on demand. So if you need to run a small run now and another small run later, piece of cake. This means big savings on resources. In fact, printing digitally frees up the printer to put longer running jobs on their offset equipment. The second step, if you're going to print your project offset, determine if your printer is using eco-friendly inks. You know, not all inks are created equal. To reduce your project's impact on the environment, look for no or low VOC inks. VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, are chemicals that are released into the air from common household or work products. Petroleum-based inks are much higher in VOCs than many of the green alternatives available today. Vegetable-based inks, which are usually made from or with soy, linseed, canola, and safflower oil, are good low VOC options. The printer you work with can give you all that information gladly. If your printer is printing with UV inks, that can be a plus, as well as ink waste is much less. The third tip is to spec paper made from post-consumer materials. You know, today's creatives have an abundance of recycled paper options to choose from. In addition to paper made from post-consumer fibers, like Accent Opaque RE30, there are even papers made from other recycled products, such as, yep, and I mean it, coffee cups. I remember printing paper once made from hemp fibers. As you consider your paper options, consider the company that manufactures the paper as well. Knowing where your paper comes from means tracing it back through the paper supply chain. Who produced it? And did it come from a responsible managed working forest? Most paper brands are part of larger companies. For example, Accent Opaque is part of Slovamo Papers. So start by researching the manufacturer to get the answers to your sustainability questions. Remember, the use of paper, recycled or virgin, helps keep the forest alive and strong. I recently did an episode on the paperless office or world where I talk about paper and the forest. 
Watch that episode to get a better understanding of why the use of paper is so good for the life and sustainability of a forest. The last and fourth step is to choose a print service partner who shares your values. It will be a lot easier to opt for digital printing, specify recycled paper, and eco-friendly inks if you partner with a printer who shares your commitment to sustainability. Let your printer know early on in the process that reducing your environmental impact is important to you and your clients. Ask them about their own sustainability initiatives. Can they describe their recycling programs? Where they get their energy? And other investments they've made in environmentally friendly equipment or processes. You know, printers who are committed to minimizing their own impact will be happy to share these details with you, and they'll probably be able to even recommend even more ways you can improve the eco-friendliness of your project. If you want to learn more about Slovamo and their commitment to sustainability, use your phone to scan the QR code displayed on the screen. The resultant of the QR code scan is an article from a recent Did You Know? article number 21 titled Going Paperless, and that's with a question mark. If you are interested in subscribing to these great monthly articles, scan the other QR code or just go to xnobake.com where you can contact Slovamo to subscribe. Well, there's a lot more I could talk about sustainability in the printing industry, but that would entail an entire class. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and ring the bell so you are notified of future episodes. So, until the next episode, where I hope to see you again, I'm Jim Cohen, the paper professor for Slovamo Papers.